couple of lessons ago, I mentioned that there were three essential steps to learning the caged system and turning it into a really useful tool. First, you need to learn to drill the caged system of octave patterns so that you can play them like this. <laughs> to produce at least a major scale in any of the seven diagonal patterns that make up the cage system. And this is best done by using the sandwich exercise that I showed you in the last soundbite in this mini-series. <laughs> the basic music theory that enables you to use this system to find any musical element that you're ever likely to need to use. Now the amount of work that you'll have to do on this may vary from a few minutes for those experienced musicians who already have a good grasp of music theory basics to several months for those who are completely new to this. First, Here's a quick description of the process for those who already know their basic theory really well. Take the formula for any basic scale or mode or even one of these exotic scales. Note the formula down. We'll use the Dorian mode as an example. Its formula is flat 3, flat 7. Then simply work out how this alters the basic major scale sandwich exercise pattern for each of the seven octave shapes. So we take the first forward diagonal pattern. instead of that one. And that's our basic forward diagonal Dorian pattern. Take that around the system. as you go 
along. Once you've worked it out, you can drill it enough times to make it solid. So after five or ten minutes of drilling that to get your fingers and ears used to the sound and the shape of that Dorian mode pattern, pick a note at random and work your way around the cage system based on that key um, for that mode. So let's pick E flat as an example. So here I am starting at the lowest E flat I can find or the E flat that's furthest up the fretboard and that's on a D string so I play the D shape. to locate this mode anywhere on the fretboard in any key. So if you want to blend a few melodic ideas from the Dorian mode in with a minor seventh chord for example, you can. So here I've got my E flat, there's my minor seventh chord, and I'm thinking inside that um, octave pattern there. which voicing of the chord you're using, you'll be able to find a segment of the Dorian mode to go with it. So if I was using the E flat minor 7th up here, uh, I'd then think inside of that E shape and I'd better use this. It's a brief practical demonstration of how to take the formula from any musical element and use these powerful tools, the caged system of octave patterns together with the sandwich exercises, and solve practical musical problems. But of course this assumes a good working knowledge of how chord formulas, mode formulas and scale formulas all relate to the major scale. And before embarking on learning that, it really helps to first study the whole business of keys and key signatures. The major scale formula and tones and semitones or whole steps and half steps. And before that, learning to name the notes on the chromatic scale. These things are all very easy to learn as long as you study them in the right sequence. And to help you with that, I came up with this pyramid diagram. And I created a three-part guitar music theory course to help you climb this pyramid from the bottom to the top. This course is available from the Secret Guitar Teacher site where it can be studied in the advanced section of the online course room or downloaded and studied on your own device as three separate courses. In the next lesson I'll show you another whole side to the cage system to do with using it to find and use different voicings and inversions of chords. Look forward to seeing you then. Mm -hmm.